do the tough things first. Ray Zinn now imparts his management philosophy in Tough Things First. Zinn covers the gamut from the essence of human happiness. Having value is key to human happiness. To the downside of venture capital for entrepreneurs. Venture capital can be the antithesis of entrepreneurial spirit. The essence of entrepreneurial discipline. An entrepreneur without determination is truly an oxymoron. Ray Zinn, Silicon Valley's longest serving CEO. Hello and welcome once more to the Tough Things First podcast. Tough Things First is where Silicon Valley's longest serving CEO, Mr. Ray Zinn, helps you by imparting decades of leadership and executive experience. So if you're looking for management wisdom, then you have found the right podcast. And if you are looking for reasons why money is not the right motivation for entrepreneurs, this episode is what you have been waiting for. My name is Guy Smith. I'm your host for this episode. Now, what makes Ray Zinn's management philosophy so compelling is its holistic and humanistic essence. This is another reason why you should buy a copy of Zinn's book, Tough Things First, at Amazon.com or at your local bookstore. No podcast can contain everything that Ray has learned and experienced in leading the most consistently profitable semiconductor company, but his book, Tough Things First, does come close. Be sure to order your copy today, and if you're a gym junkie like myself, get the audio version of Tough Things First. It's a great way to make your gymnasium time even more productive. So, uh, speaking of gymnasiums, money is not the motive we have for lifting weights and jogging on treadmills, Mr. Ray Zinn, it, but it is a piece of something bigger, and that's today's topic. What really matters to entrepreneurs. So good morning to you, Ray. Well, thank you, Guy. I'm glad to be here. Your company, Micrell, was profitable for 36 out of 37 years on a gap basis. That is a great record in general, but it's especially astounding in the notoriously cyclical semiconductor industry. But despite such profitability, you say focusing on money may be a downfall for entrepreneurs like yourself. Why so? Well, I meant that in terms of um, if that's your reason for starting a company is to become rich, then you're doing it for the wrong reason. Um, I started my Krell to build a company uh, to help uh, uh, people improve and to become a viable um, company long term and not just for the short term. So a focus on, on, on revenue only without uh, fo- uh, any emphasis at all on the bottom line results in a company with the wrong culture. And, you know, as we've talked about in the past, focusing on, on the culture is what's important. And uh, the uh, uh, focus on on strictly revenue often relates or results in just um, companies losing money and, and constantly having to go out for more money. And, and it's just a descending spiral. So uh, that's what I meant by that. So entrepreneurs then have a more holistic vision, one that encompasses mission and people and community and and a lot more. So how does an entrepreneur make all employees see this holistic nature, the vision that the entrepreneur has? I know it sounds funny to say you're focusing on a company, but it's a company that produces the products, not the other way around. So companies, for example, that are generally uh, venture capital funded, uh, start out with a product. They say, okay, here's the product we want to do. And then um, we uh, will you know, raise the money and, and then we'll build a company around that product. Uh, just recently, uh, we had the uh, announcement by uh, Intel that uh, they're going to refocus their, uh, their market. So here we have a company that's you know, 40 years old, uh, a little over 40, uh, and now they're having to refocus their, um, their uh, markets. So, you know, this, this, this is what happens. So if you focus only on the product uh, and a market, uh, you're going to be um, uh, running into trouble. So you have to be flexible. If you build a company first uh, and, and get it established, then you can uh, uh, assure yourselves of a longer uh, runway. Does money ever get in the way of an entrepreneur? Only in the sense of the word that it tends to make you more 
greedy. I mean, you're, you're, you're more focusing on what's in it for you as opposed to how you can help your people. I know that sounds a little sadistic as you would, but focus on, on strictly running a company for the, for model that feathers your pocket as you would tends to keep you from focusing on, on your personnel, your employees. Well, thanks again, Ray, for spending a few minutes with us and for helping entrepreneurs everywhere up their game. And if you would like to connect with Ray, you can find him on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Go to the contact page at the toughthingsfirst.com website, and you'll see his social media links there. And do subscribe to the Tough Things First podcast to automatically receive new episodes, such as next week's which will be compelling for everyone in this election year. Ray will discuss what needs to happen to get the American economy growing again, which directly affects all entrepreneurs and all of their employees.